when a square or rectangular coil moves into a region of uniform magnetic field, like this one over here, it is actually possible to calculate the amount of EMF that's going to be induced in this coil. Now let us see how to do that. <clears throat> now let's consider the moment where this coil begins to enter this region. So let's say it's currently over here. Okay, this is L, X, L, Y. So um, at this point of time, as the coil enters, the amount of area inside this magnetic field is going to be increasing. And therefore, we have a dA, dT situation. So let's work it out. Remember that the EMF induced is basically, um, let's do magnitudes, d phi dt. And so this will, of course, equal to uh, uh, n uh, p dA dt. Notice that I ignore the theta because this coil is always perpendicular to the field. So there's no need to do any cosine theta here. So I pulled out the b because the b is constant. It is the area that is changing. And what we can do, we can write this as n b d l y l x d t. That we're simply breaking the area down. And as this coil enters, l y is always going to be the same. It is the l x that is constantly changing. So pull out l y, l y, and then you have l d l x d t. And guess what? B L X D T is simply the horizontal velocity. And so this becomes N V L V. Right? And so this is a very nice formula to know. Okay. Uh, help to calculate these uh, EMF induced very quickly. And we can do a simple application of Lenz's law. Okay. And so uh, as the coil enters, right? Notice the coil is moving to the right. And so what, of course, the induced current will try to do, it will try to oppose that and it will create a magnetic force to the left to try and oppose it. And so you can use Fleming's left hand rule, second finger in, thumb to the left, and you'll notice that your third finger points upwards, and so your current flows in a anti-clockwise manner. Right? As the coil leaves the magnetic field, same thing, the induced current will try to oppose that rightward motion. And so again, this time the current still flows up, but now, of course, it will flow in a clockwise manner.